Just today I got a very interesting question on our Discord server at thegamedev.guru from a user called RichGG. I assume that you will be watching this video, so congratulations, I don't do this often. In fact, this is the first time I've done this. Rich came with the question of, you know, I had this type of profile and I saw a lot of these red teeth on the lower part of this profile picture. Let's have a look at this. Now, what does this mean? What do these uh, red teeth mean in the profiler? You might have seen this in your projects if you are unlucky. And, uh, and if you were lucky, you didn't have them. Right? So these red teeth mean uh, GC allocation. This basically means that you are asking your operating system or rather the C -sharp .NET environment to allocate memory for you. What does it mean? It means that you are allocating something on the heap that you probably will need to get rid of later on. In other words, we are putting pressure into the garbage collector and that is not great because at some point Unity or the .NET environment will tell you stop this is enough. Enough is enough. I'm going to pause your gameplay for a bit while I clean the mess that you have left for me. So every time that you see one of this red bar, it means you are allocating memory. It means that you are putting technical depth or some tasks for the feature for the garbage collector, which is going to impact your a user, right? So you're going to be freezing and slowing down their game. So what I would do here is to first locate the source of these allocations. And here you will probably find some information about that through the context of the profiler. And second, get rid of them. That's about it. Ideally, you should have no red bars at all. And if you switch from the timeline to the hierarchy profiling mode, you should aim to have less than 32 bytes per frame in allocations, ideally zero. I just hope that you get luck with that. And to answer your question, do you think it would be a good idea to share the progress here that I make on fixing that? Yes, you should. And if you're just watching this video and you are not rich.gg, assume you are not, also just feel free to join the Discord channel. In the Discord channel, you will be able to ask questions like this to members who have a bit of experience in performance optimization. And by the way, in the week number 32, I believe, lesson number 32 of the Unity Performance Task Force, I go into detail about how to hunt for this type of allocations and what to do about that. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to join the Discord channel and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.